Uh, in the previous video, I showed you kind of how to lay out an app. You know, I had an image, kind of an input um, row, and then where the user is going to enter information, and then a list where we're going to show all the posts from from the users as they as they enter them. And then I kind of went over to the code side, the interactive side, and I made it so when the screen opened, you know, that list of data, it's all just fake data for now, but it shows up in this list viewer on, on the app, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is show you to make it so when the user actually types something in um, into this input box, it'll end up in our list, okay? So it's really the kind of the first really interactive part of our app. And what I'm gonna do is come over here to this button and I'm gonna grab this win button dot click. And you know, these yellow blocks are called event handlers. Screen dot opens is considered an event and so is the user clicking a button. And what I can show is when the user clicks a button, what do I want to happen, all right? In this case, what I want to happen is whatever they've entered, I want it to show up um, inside this list. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to lists and there's a block called insert at and I'm gonna grab this in list insert at block. Okay, and what I wanna do is I wanna insert in this variable called posts. So I need a reference to posts. And what do I, what do I, what I wanna insert is whatever the user's entered, okay? Now back over in my designer, the user enters information in what's called text input one. Okay, I could rename it, but let's just leave it text input one for now. But whatever they've entered is in that um, block. So I'm gonna grab text input, and it's got a field or a block called get text. So from the text input, I wanna get the text the user's entered. All right, so now I've got um, when the buttons click, I'm gonna change this variable called posts by inserting a new thing in it. And right now, I'm gonna insert it in, at the end. And really, I want the newest post to show up at the top of the list. So I'm gonna change this to first. And so now I'm gonna insert at the front. I'm gonna pre-pin the new item. Okay, the last thing we gotta do is, you know, this is really the hidden list. This, it's a variable. It's inside the app's memory but this list viewer is what actually shows the data. So I need to stick this new, newly updated post variable into my list viewer. And that's easy, I can just copy the blocks from screen.opens and I just wanna make sure um, it's gonna update the, the posts. Okay, so I'm gonna test this out. I'm over here on my app now and I'm gonna to touch the screen and I'm gonna say, um, free mass at Walgreens. Oops, sorry. And you know, now I'm no longer the coder, I'm the user of the app, at least the test user. I'm gonna type that in, I'm gonna click post it. And as you'll notice, free mass at Walgreens now appears at the top of my list. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We now have an interactive app. It's got some fake data, which we could get rid of, but it's also got data that the user enters and it, it shows up at the top of the list. That's pretty good. Now we still got some, some things we need to work on. One, if I restart this app, um, so if I do a live test and I restart the app, notice whatever the user entered is gone, okay? And that's because right now, our variable, our data is not persistent. There's no database behind it. So every time you start the app, it just kind of starts off with the, the default values and anything that was dynamically entered by the user is gone. Okay, so kind of the next app is, or I'm sorry, my next video, I'm gonna show you how to, how to make it so we actually have a database um, behind our data.